Welcome, old friends and new, to the Bring Your Own Grief Network and a special episode, Daily Inspirations. January 10th, and today's Daily Inspiration comes to us from Thomas Bailey Aldridge, a New Englander who lived from 1836 to 1907 and, like me, lost his son. He was an American literary figure notable for his long editorship of the Atlantic Magazine for his poetry and his semi-autobiographical book, The Story of a Bad Boy. Thomas Aldridge gives us the following supportive words from his poem, A Shadow of the Night. What is lovely never dies, but passes into other loveliness. Now, actually, this is only a line in Thomas's somewhat lengthy poem in which a sleeper falls into a dream and comes upon a holy man at a fresh gravesite of a woman Thomas didn't know. Feeling saddened by the death still, Thomas listens as a holy man confronted him with these words. When next thou comest, thou shalt find her still in all the rare perfection that she was. Thou shalt have gentle greetings of thy love. Her eyelids will have turned to violets, her bosom to white lilies, and her breath to roses. What is lovely never dies, but passes into other loveliness, stardust or sea foam, flower or winged air. If this befalls our unworthy flesh, think thee what destiny awaits the soul, what glorious vesture it shall wear at last. Although the one line, what is lovely never dies, but passes into other loveliness, stands inspirational on its own, I am somewhat at a loss for not including the entire passage in my published collection, Grief Healings 365. The line in the entire work reminds us that we never truly die. Our lost loved one is not dead. Their spirit lives on in other beautiful, amazing ways, including being a part of who you and I are today. But Thomas's poem goes on, but ends with a dreamer awakening in bed. He concludes, Then I awoke with a keen pain at heart, a sense of swift, unutterable loss, and through the darkness reached my hand to touch her cheek, soft pillowed on one restful palm, to be quite sure. Does our enlightened dreamer awaken with a sharp pain in his heart and a sense of unutterable loss, words he cannot say, only to discover his love had moved on to that other loveliness at some time in the night. Well, let me know your thoughts. So, that's today's daily inspiration and my thoughts. But you know, as well as I do, we are all as unique as snowflakes and fingerprints, aren't we? You may well take the words differently, and I ask, I welcome and would love to have you leave your unique understanding of the words we shared together in the comments section below this YouTube video. Please do. I welcome the conversation, the chance to start a dialogue and get to know the thoughts of my fellow grievers and maybe, maybe travel a little farther myself down the path of hope and healing. If you found value in this daily inspiration, please like it here on YouTube and share it with others. Share it with those you feel could use a hand to hold on to. And please subscribe to the BYOG Network YouTube channel. The more likes, shares, and subscribers we have, the easier it is for other bereaved souls to find help in their search. So thank you for spending this time of healing with me. No, I am so very sorry for your loss, as I know you are mine. I am R. Glenn Kelly. May you find peace and purpose. Thank you.